morning good morning good morning good morning friends this is diane and i'm coming to you this morning with another word of encouragement and i pray that something that is said today will be a blessing to your heart as usual we give god thanks we praise his name because he's good he has been good to us and we cannot cease to give him thanks and praise it is our duty to do that to let the lord know how wonderful he has been to us because despite everything that's going on around us we still see the goodness of god every single day all right every single day we see the goodness of the lord and we should never cease to give him thanks and praise because he is good all right so make sure that you do not cheat the Lord on the praise that's due unto his name, the thanks, the adoration. It is him alone that we should worship and him alone should get the glory. All right, so let's not rob God in that regard. All right, good morning. Good morning, Sister Annette. Good morning. Good to see you. You know, I just want to welcome everybody to August <laughs> yes today is the beginning of a new month and for that we should give God thanks many of us did not know that we would live to see this day but because of the goodness of the Lord we are here and we're here to thank him and we're here in our right minds all right uh, we, we just have so much to give God thanks for new new month first day of the month you know, first day of the eighth month, eight, eight, yes, new beginnings. There are some things that, you know, are going to shift in some lives this month. You can expect it because it's just the way, you know, the Lord has ordained it to be. So get ready, get ready for that shift to take place this month. Uh, shift could mean something good, you know, for many and it could be bad news for some because for the righteous it could mean the month you know or the time or the season when the lord vindicates when the lord you know makes you a strong it could be the month when he does away with your enemies you know the enemy of our soul who sometimes you know causes others to buffet us it could be the month when we grow a little more you know so the shift is usually good for the righteous but for the wicked perhaps not all right so this is a brand new month and it's an opportunity to turn over a new leaf and to give god thanks all right so i've asked a question this morning what are you hiding and it seems simple enough it's a simple simple uh, question and uh, sometimes when we ask you know these simple questions it still causes us to think you know we hear the phrase or the term skeleton in the closet and sometimes people get nervous when they hear skeleton in the closet <laughs> but I'm saying thank God that he's sovereign and there are some things in in some closets of course the Lord knows everything but there are some things in some closets if they were to come out you know it would shock the world or shock those around around us and you hear as well that oh everybody has skeletons in their closet and <laughs> let me tell you this at the beginning of this broadcast this morning anybody who has skeletons in their closet things that they are ashamed of things that they would not want to come to light my best advice right now is to turn it over to Jesus give it all to Christ because these are some of the things that the enemy uses to blackmail especially the people of god 
all right the devil don't like nobody so we we know that not even the not even the unsaved um, are safe you know with him and that's why he puts up a fight when people are moving towards a life in Christ okay the devil doesn't like us and if some of us believe that by yielding to his temptations or yielding to him yielding to his voice that we're doing ourselves any good we are not all right the Bible says we should resist the devil and he will flee from us now we know that he flees for a season then he comes back and he comes back again but if each time we put up that level of resistance then we know that we are the overcomers at each and every time all right the Lord with us we can resist the devil all right we can resist the devil and uh, push against his suggestions because that's what he does he comes with these suggestions and some people bite it okay so let us be careful about that you know having skeletons in our closet and not only not only this is this is part of the mistake that a lot of people make you know regarding some of these skeletons you know the Bible says uh, confess you know let us confess our faults one to another and that means different things to different people because even though the Bible admonishes us to confess our faults one to another it leaves room at times where you are confessing to persons who are not mature and you would tell them your deepest darkest secrets whatever they are and you believe that it's safe but what happens sometimes is that these same people they go and they tell it they tell it anyhow you know and I'm, I'm always this advocate for confession because if we don't confess then the devil has something to kind of hold over our head at times there are some things that are in the past and then some people say okay that's in the past and let me tell you we should never allow the devil to use our past to blackmail us or to set us back or you know keep us down so it's so important for us to know you know what we need to release and get it out there I always say look here no devil not going to blackmail me I'm saying it first I'm telling it first all right there there should not be anything that in my life that is so hidden that is so kept that the devil can grab a hold of it and use it and that is why I give God thanks for saving grace because there are some things that are in some people's past and they still allow you know it to affect their lives and I'm saying if something is in your past that is bothering you it's in your past it's gone but it's bothering you because you cannot seem to grasp you know God's word for your life at this time then it's time to confess if it's something that is affecting your life and you're thinking that because remember when you come to Christ right it is over time as you yield yourselves to him that some of these things that we once struggled with you know the Holy Spirit comes and helps us to get these things out of our lives as long as we yield to him okay but if we are going about and you know the thing is just there and it's like looming over our our future something has to be done about that sometimes it's not just simply saying well you know I'll just bury it and forget it if it's something that is you know still affecting your life affecting your 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 present life and looks like it will affect your future then something has to be done about that all right so where I'm, where I'm really coming from is the fact that some people in the past they would have done some things and they came to Christ but the thing is still there 
there are persons who are still bothered by abortions that they they did you know they became pregnant they believed they weren't ready and they did abortions and because of this even though they're now in Christ they did that before they became a Christian no some people do it even on becoming Christians all right so we, we have some some issues there but you you have persons who these things still continue to affect them you know they have dreams you know these these dreams that would uh, bother them almost like tormenting dreams right um, I don't have that specific experience but I know of people who do and it bothers them a lot and they wonder if Christ really has forgiven them of that all right there are some who before they came to Christ they had homosexual tendencies but some people don't really know that you know they they, they don't know that those tendencies you know came about not like you're looking for someone to blame or a scapegoat or anything because remember we're all born with the sin nature right that sin nature we're born with that so there are some things that used to happen or we used to do in our lives it's not that you know we were born um, in, in the church on the pews where we came out you know righteous and holy even when we're born again we're moving towards that level of holiness at all times so it's something to be worked on but you know homosexual tendencies and some still struggle with with those tendencies so they're in church sweetly saved you know sanctified set apart for God and then you're thinking well how how is it that I'm still having these feelings or whatever and you know I'm 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 gonna read a verse later on that helps us to understand where we are right there are some who would have committed murder whatever it is long and short some people are hiding this kind of stuff from their past now I'm saying if the Lord has delivered you and you're now living a new life then these things should not be hovering over your life like that to set you back okay some people are hiding the fact that you know they're coming down from a family a family line that was involved in witchcraft and those things and you're hearing me speak a lot about these things nowadays because these are some of the things that are affecting people's lives and they believe that you know because they have now come to Christ and they're walking with Christ that everything is just gone and there is nothing else to be done right so some people they're they're hiding they're hiding a lot they're hiding situations now I'm talking about before you got saved now right these things were done and you are now in Christ and it's some of them still there and that's why I'm asking today what are you hiding what it is about your life right now that you really don't want anyone to know no this is the thing confession has to be made you know why because if you don't tell if you don't say it even if you're saying look I'm confessing this to Christ you have to understand the freedom that will come afterwards all right let me read the verse right that I have here Luke 8 verse 17 well let me read the one before it so you 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 get that Luke 8 16 and 17 no one when he has lit a lamp covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed but sets it on a lampstand that those who enter may see the light verse 17 for nothing is secret that will not be revealed nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light you heard that Luke 8 17 says for nothing 
is secret that will not be revealed nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light all right so this is what i'm saying now on becoming christians now so we talk a little about what used to happen when or before we became christians before we made that decision to walk with christ but now we're in christ and there are still some things that are hidden you know these things didn't happen before we came to christ they happened after we came to christ and for that reason you know many are carrying around this level of guilt this guilt because of what is taking place there are some people who are hiding right hiding stuff that's going on in their lives right now where they just don't want anyone to know there are some young people maybe adults too but let me start with the young people they have to christian young people i'm talking about they have to go to school college wherever they go every day and they're facing the fact that they're being molested right so they're they're hiding that christian um, i'm not talking about those now who are not saved it should not be happening to anyone at all no one should have to carry around that burden of being molested right there are there are some families that some children are living in they are in danger every single day why because some adult is molesting them so they are carrying that it's sometimes when they go to school something may come out and a teacher may probe and information may come out and then before you know it we see you know headlines with all sorts of mess involving children or young people all right so there are some who have to carry that around they're hiding it they don't want anybody to know you know it's affecting the way they function in their school environment they're sad they're withdrawn some are angry okay some get into fights some lead promiscuous lifestyles but they don't want to see what's going on in their lives because they're hiding it it's too shameful to admit or to tell somebody that you know my father is molesting me my uncle right my mother's boyfriend whoever it is let's not even begin to think that sometimes these children are even safe in the church right there are youth leaders who are messing with young people and it's 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 hush hush it's being hidden all right there are pastors prayer warriors people who have been entrusted with the care of our young people they are messing with them and these young people are carrying a heavy burden there are boys who are being molested by male pastors okay male prayer people and i'm saying this because if we could only know the realities that are around us at times we would seek the face of god 24 hours a day if we could know what some people are hiding it would cause us to seek the lord more okay some of these secret things that are going on even in the body of Christ so that is just one aspect what are you hiding some are hiding the fact that they are sleeping with somebody else's spouse all right that's not something you know to come out and brag about or tell the world so it's being hidden okay some are hiding that they're hiding the fact that hey i too am married but i'm having an affair with somebody else's spouse 
that's that that no we have to hide this we have to keep this a secret surely we cannot allow this to get out into the light otherwise it would ruin what we have going on right here right now these are the realities of what's going on around us even in Christendom all right it is happening at the leadership level it's happening even amongst the regular members it's just happening adultery has become like rampant in some cases some think it's hidden some know better all right as a matter of fact some are bold they, they they're not hiding but we're talking about the ones that are hiding to think that because man doesn't see it nobody knows that that's interesting because what we just read here in Luke 8 verse 17 it's clear any version any version of the Bible that you read it from it's crystal clear for nothing is secret that will not be revealed nor anything hidden that will not be known or come to light so this is the thing this is the thing why hide when we know that hey exposure will come some way or the other exposure will come you know sometimes people fall into something and they they say oh lord jesus forgive me forgive me please lord don't bring me to an open shame because they know that what happened is just enough to ruin their lives many families have been broken apart many families have been ruined because of secrets and i'm talking about christian families even christian families the ones that go to church every sunday or saturday or whichever day you know and um put up this facade like everything is going great but i'm saying thank god for jesus because there's this um there's this little phrase if all truths were to be known <laughs> right so there is a remedy though and i'm gonna get to that but you see we have to make sure that there are not things hidden in our lives that prevents our worship that stops us from going all the way with god that's why we see so many people half stepping you know in churches half stepping one one foot in one foot out in today out tomorrow in today out tomorrow we see that because persons i know you know uh, aware that hey if i'm involved in this then maybe i just need to stay back but that's exactly what the devil wants that's exactly what the devil wants let me tell you something friends if there is anything in our lives as Christians that is bothering us you know that's setting us back we need to confess that thing before it gets our lives into trouble all right let's 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 look at our lives the way it is now and consider all that's taking place what's going on in my life right now and this is something that everybody has to do on an individual basis sometimes what we do we check in for other people's lives and some people do that to kind of cover up what's going on in theirs we see it all the time people know people's business more than they know theirs they're spoiling but they know other people's business you understand we have to be so careful about that that while we're checking on somebody else's business and somebody else's life ours is in shambles there are people there are people who i, I mean they they gossip about the fact that you know this other lady's uh, husband is seeing somebody else i'm talking about church folk now I'm, I'm not even talking about the unsaved and when they check 
their husband is out there running around as well. You understand? There, there is just so much that's going on. Some believe in secret, even in the body of Christ. And we have to check these things because some they're, they're coming out just like just like the word is declaring exposure is happening these things are coming out and they're causing shame and disgrace not just to the persons involved but it's giving the church a black eye somebody tagged me in a news headline yesterday where you had three pastors three of them arrested in a child pornography ring all right three pastors it didn't just say three men you know it didn't just say three people they made sure to include in the headline that it was three pastors now, why you think that was done, right? To show the world that the people who are saying Jesus and who should be the example, they are the ones that's doing this wickedness. And sometimes we know and we see these things happening around us. Now, that's not an overnight development, that's not an overnight development after being you know watched for a while after being you know after setting up various surveillance and so on you know people get caught in things that they believe are hidden all right in things that they believe are hidden so we have to be so careful in the body of christ that we're not indulging and engaging in things that will bring shame to us and shame to the body of Christ. Some of us love to talk about, you know, uh, things in a vacuum. It, it's like we believe that Christians live in a bubble. No, we do not. We do not live in a bubble. There are some things that affect others in the world that they affect Christians. Some things that affect unsafe people affect Christians. But we should be the light. We should be the example. We should be the ones setting the example for the unsafe to follow. But if we're the ones involved in some of these things, then how are we going to lead others into the light? So we have to take our responsibility very seriously in the body of Christ to make sure that if there's anything in our lives that's setting us back, holding us back, that we confess it. Tell it to Jesus. There are some, as I said a little earlier, who are confessing to their friends, people who they trust. And these friends, well, put friends in quotations are betraying that trust they're going out and they're telling the stuff so you see there is nothing in secret that will not be revealed because even the very friends are telling it so you have to know and you have to make up your mind that if this is something that you're struggling with even if it comes out you don't believe that that's the end of it all no let me tell you why let me tell you why you seek the lord concerning that issue that problem that situation whatever it is that is being hidden all right you seek the lord on that and you say lord i need your help i need your help with this help me lord and he will send help for you he will so do not continue in that path anymore thinking that well i will continue to do it as long as i can get away with it because that's what some people are doing they're hoping that they will get away and some people will continue until they are caught yes christians hiding the fact that they, they have a problem with 
stealing, you know, taking up stuff that doesn't belong to them. There's a, a description, persons who just have this compulsive urge to steal, they're called kleptomaniacs, right? It, it's just a compulsion to just take things that do not belong to them. And there are Christians who struggle with that. Can't see people things and leave it alone. Yes, Christians. So you have this thing where you would see something come out and this person was arrested because it didn't just start there. It was going on for a while. But the persons, you know, maybe felt so ashamed to ask for help. So this is what I'm saying today. I'm asking the question, what are you hiding? What are you hiding? And in answering that, just remember that there's nothing hidden. There's nothing in secret that will not be revealed. So let's, let's check, you know, how we're going about that. All right, I'm going to read a verse for you, but just saying hello to Tracy. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Patricia. Well, I'm not sure if that's Patricia or Patrika. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Sister Shioma. How are you doing? And good morning, Marianne. You know, we're just asking this question today. What are you hiding? And in trying to <laughs> wrap our heads even around that question, we have to know that there is help available. All right? There's help available. There are some people who are married. They're married to whichever sex they're married to, right? We know that marriage is between a man and a woman. And some people marry, like a man will marry a woman just to hide his homosexual tendencies. And these things are happening even in the body of Christ. Married to a woman, but really have feelings for men. So they have to, they're hiding that. When what should be happening is confession and saying, Look, Lord, I cannot do this. Help me, Lord. He will send help. Okay? He will send help. We just have to be ready to give it up. Some are not ready to give up what's keeping them back. And that's part of the issue. Not ready to give it up walking by the flesh and not by the spirit if we don't walk by the spirit then we will beyond the shadow of a doubt fulfill the lust of the flesh that's why we have a lot of carnal christians because they walk by the flesh by what they feel you know if it feels good let's do it and then it leads them into problems and they have to end up hiding something some are hiding the fact that they had children so they did not do abortion they did not do an abortion you know they had the child but they had the child and now they're hiding the child so nobody knows that they have this child out there somewhere nobody knows about this child well except of course those who have the child you know, these are some of the things and we allow it to set us back because even though, you know, some are trying to go forward and to pretend like everything is well, their heart and their mind is still on those things. Hiding, hiding, hiding. When we hide stuff that's going on in our lives, deliverance is needed because it means that we're ashamed of it. We feel guilty about it. Okay? Back to the children who are being molested. They believe it's their fault. So that's why they don't tell anyone. Some are made to believe that they brought it on themselves. No, they did not. They just fell victim to Big people who don't know the difference between a child and an adult. Big people who have issues that they refuse to get dealt with. Okay? No. 
that's the bad news what's the good news the good news is even though we're admonished here in Luke 8 or we're told in Luke 8 17 that nothing is secret that will not be revealed nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light we have to realize that when we come to Christ and we confess I'm talking about Christians now I'm not talking about when you just got saved when I say come to Christ meaning you say Lord I need help here and you cry out for help he has promised to help us let's look at John the book of John John chapter 8 right John 8 verses 34 to 36 says Jesus answered them most assuredly I say to you whomever commits sin is a slave of sin and a slave does not abide in the house forever but a son abides forever and this is the key here verse 36 therefore if the son makes you free and this is capital s-o-n now right if the son makes you free you shall be free in deed y'all heard that so regardless of what you are hiding regardless of what has you bound regardless of whatever skeleton you believe is in your closet confess it to the Lord confess it confess it get it out all right some people need to actually even though people are people and they betray people's trust from time to time I'm telling you sometimes you could have the closest friend and they will betray your trust given the right set of circumstances they will betray you we have to understand that even if we're betrayed that Christ has set us free all right confess there are some things that I did in my past that I'm not proud of but I've confessed them to the Lord and I even testify about some of them you know why because it is freedom I'm free okay I'm free so I, I talk about these things but not many people are able to do that because the adversary is like he has a hold over their lives because of these things so that's why it's important for us to confess confess get it out you know don't let the devil use it to blackmail you get it out there I'm struggling with this I'm having a problem with this you know I'm a man and I have feelings for man I am struggling with this help me Lord somebody help me help me please but it's when we cover it up believe that it will stay hidden that it comes out and it comes out almost you know in this kind of way that makes us ashamed but whom the son has set free is free indeed just remember that just remember that you will not be a slave to sin you will not be a slave to hidden things whatever it is that is being practiced you know that you know you're not proud of we're not proud of it needs to be confessed it needs to get out there so that we can be held accountable because that's it if we stay hidden if we keep hiding then it will continue to master us but when you get it out there at least you're inviting that level of you know accountability into your life you're saying Lord I confess this I need your help with this I cannot manage I cannot do it on my own so I'm asking you to help me and when he does that freedom let me tell you it will feel like a weight has come off your shoulders you will feel that freedom that level of freedom where you can 
talk you you can even talk about it you can testify and you can help others with their struggles because whom the son of man has set free is free indeed and we have to remember that so when the devil comes with his accusations with his lies telling you that you would never you know be or you'd never get over this or whatever he's a liar he's a liar first things first you have to want to get that out of your life you have to want to because remember the lord did not take away our will he gives us a free will and we can choose we can choose to let go or we can choose to hold on we can choose to release the secrets unto the lord or we can choose to hold on to it because if we do it's gonna destroy us it doesn't matter how long we have been saved it doesn't matter what we're doing in church it doesn't matter what our post you have a you have, you have heard the saying how are the mighty fallen there are persons of very high regard high esteem that what we call a little thing has brought them down you know why because that little thing was hidden for so long and some allowed it to take control of their lives that's why some people commit suicide and even now i come against that spirit of suicide because there are some people whom the devil has told them there is no way out of this you may as well kill yourself and that's dangerous so i'm saying this morning regardless of what you're hiding right now confess it confess it to christ let him know where your struggle is he already knows but you tell it out of your mouth you confess that's what confession is all about is to say you say it to the lord and you have to make up your mind that even if you said it to somebody and they went and just took it out the wrong way and tried to mess up your life you have to understand that whom the son has set free is free indeed so don't hold on to those secrets anymore because they're gonna come out one way or the other right don't hold on to those things that will set you back and affect your ability to praise and worship you're in church with your wife worshiping and your sweetheart on the other side cut out those things confess them all right i'll tell you a quick story this is a true story true 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 story i remember years ago i was in a church years ago i was in a church and one sunday afternoon just before the church service ended there was like a little commotion in the back going on in the in the back you know as people started to look because you know it was distracting there was like voices were uh, raising you know like people were talking somebody was there talking in a in a kind of disgruntled type of voice and people were like glancing back to see what's going on here the service is going on you know but something going on in the back and when we look back you could see as how the ushers uh, uh, was dealing with a woman and I'll tell you what I saw <laughs> and heard with my own two eyes and ears the woman had a suitcase she had a suitcase in her hand and she came to the church door to the back and she basically just started to call out one of the brother's names and tell him to come for his things. And you could tell that, you know, people in the church, was, they were like, shock, what's going on here? What, what kind of thing is this? What's this? No, you could assume that the, the lady was a relative of the brother. But by the time she opened her mouth, and start to say, you know, come, come for your things, come take your things. 
right? Come take your things out of my place. And she had this suitcase. And that brother was sitting in church, I'll never forget, with his wife and daughter. And here is a woman in the back with a suitcase calling out to him to come for his things and basically declaring that whatever relationship they had is over. All right? You know, apparently, brother was seeing this woman on the side and perhaps undeciding now that I'm going to just end this. The woman wouldn't have it. Came to the church and created a scene. I'll say, well, I didn't see the brother, his wife and daughter again for a little bit because the situation was so shameful and scandalous. And I'm saying, whenever we get involved in things, there are always consequences. So that's why I'm saying, even if the situation should come out and it comes out in a shameful and disgraceful way, instead of trying to deny it, just say, you know what? I'm guilty. I'm, I'm wrong. I did it. Father, forgive me. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to say, well, if it didn't happen, it didn't happen. You know, you know, the Lord will vindicate because that's the thing. People are going around worried about things that they didn't do. Why? No. If you know you're not guilty, you're not guilty. The Lord will vindicate you. But if you did it, confess. Say, yes, I did it. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I did this thing. Don't cover it. And, and we, we see that even happening in some arenas where, you know, some of these allegations would come out against people, leaders in the church, allegations of sexual harassment or molestation or whatever it is. And, you know, they say, no, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Uh, you know, and guess what? When it all comes out, it was the truth. No, all the person had to do are persons is say, look, I'm not proud of it. I did it. May the Lord forgive me. Even if it means stepping away from that level of ministry. But some want to just do what they want and continue as if nothing happened. Because guess what? They're the authority in that environment. So we have to watch that because if we don't check ourselves, things can happen. All right. So two things to remember this morning as I wrap up two things. One, Luke eight seventeen. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known or come to light. So guess what? Confess, confess it. Confess it. Because if if persons sit around and wait for exposure, it could cause some irreparable damage. All right. Either way, it may cause damage, but confess. And then when we look on John, because you see, we have to know what the Lord has done for us. And don't let the devil blackmail us. So in John 8, 36, we see where, therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. So after you have confessed after you have said lord i give this situation to you then you just allow the lord to set you free all right allow the lord to set you free in other words you're not going to go back to that you're not going to go back because that's what some do you know is oh lord uh, forgive me yeah yeah the lord forgives and then they start to walk by the flesh again and they go back into what the Lord has already pulled them from and say, oh, the struggle, the struggle. No, brethren, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Let that be the high note that we end on this morning. If you don't remember anything else that I've said, just remember this. So that is why we should not allow these secrets 
get them out get them out you know confess them whatever you have to do just confess them so that freedom can come so that the devil doesn't blackmail the children of God anymore don't give him any legal right to accuse yes we know he's an accuser of the brethren but sometimes we are the ones that give him stuff to accuse us of and if it's true it's not even an accusation right because we say you're being accused well if it goes like that confess it say yes I did it I'm, I'm sorry I you know I'm, I'm sorry Lord forgive me do it do it don't be ashamed or afraid to confess but don't be living there don't stay there all right don't stay in that place rise up from out of the ashes rise up from out of that low place and allow the Lord to free you and cause you to walk in total victory there are many persons who now will testify about the Lord delivering them from a homosexual lifestyle they have no shame yes the world know that they used to be used to be used to be no longer if it's a situation where it's still going on I'm not going back over <laughs> the lesson today the devotion today I'm just saying used to does not mean anything in terms of affecting more than to make you a powerful testimony for God so if you used to do it testify and let others know of the delivering power of Christ I have friends here on Facebook that's their testimony and they're not ashamed of it that's what Christ pulled them out of and they're not ashamed of it they testify about it all right testify about it testify about what God has delivered you from whatever addictions drug addictions things that were done in secret even as Christians smoking you know this desire all those things uh, people hide and do hide hide and drink 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 until they become drunk yes confess say Lord help me and when he sets you free you will become a testimony let the world know that you were bound by this but now you are free so the devil can't come with that again to try and come do anything to blackmail you with that you have already gotten that out there so today if there's anyone listening to me because it may not be now you may not be on now but later on if, if there's anyone listening and there's anything in your heart or in your mind that is just plaguing you you can't seem to move forward because this thing is just there hovering over you confess tell it to Jesus all right yes you can still tell it to people but I'm saying even if they betray you just know that the Lord has set you free he has set you free from that because sometimes people believe they're holding secrets for you and when they're holding secrets for you they believe they control your life so you cannot do anything because you told them this thing and you you want them to keep that secret for you no don't let anybody blackmail you don't let nobody hold any secret for you tell it tell it tell it all right leaders pastors persons in authority in the church don't let nobody hold no secret for you they will embarrass you all right so you confess that thing confess it get it out get it out 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 so that it doesn't ruin your life some are now wondering should I go and tell my spouse that I cheated should I just leave that alone <laughs> let me tell you let the Holy Spirit be your guide all right because in Christ is truth let the Holy Spirit be your guide because if you're gonna walk around with that guilt you are gonna come out somewhere or another all right so confess say I did this thing I'm sorry please forgive me and mean it all right so I'm gonna pray now because 
simple simple question asked today what are you hiding and if there's anything in your closet that you know if those skeletons fall out is gonna cause problems in your life confess them don't say because sometimes people say leave the past in the past but you all know exactly what I'm talking about there are some things that are plaguing deal with them let the Lord help you and set you free all right let's pray Lord I thank you today I thank you for your goodness I thank you even for your word that teaches us about life about how to live about the promises that you have made and Lord we know that you're a promise keeper you keep your promises every one of them and today oh God we were admonished from your word that there is nothing in secret that will not become known that there is nothing hidden oh God because you see all you hear all and you know everything so Lord help us to confess these things in our lives that we know do not please you oh God help us not to walk around pretending or to hide 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 things Lord if we know we know that they do not please you help us to let them go let them go let them go and allow you oh God to bring us the freedom that we need the freedom so that we can go out and tell others testify of your goodness testify of your delivering power testify of what you have done in our lives there are many oh God who are struggling right now in different areas Lord I pray that you will envelop their lives right now in such a way that they will confess oh God what's going on with them so that they can become free free to worship free to bow down free to dance free total freedom total freedom Lord so I ask you right now even those who are trying to reconcile their past trying to make amends because it's on their heart there are some who have done some wicked things to others that they believe is hidden up to this day let them confess oh God and bring healing to those relationships healing oh God give the persons who was wronged oh God a heart of love to forgive and release those things that were done against them so Lord I thank you right now that you're, you're you're just doing a new thing in the hearts of your people you're doing a new thing Lord help help us all of us to realize that once you have set us free we're free indeed so those things do not hang over our lives anymore like a dark cloud waiting to fall Lord I thank you that you have removed guilt and shame from our lives Lord only you can cover sin so Lord I thank you for what you did on that cross so help us now to understand that we have that access that freedom in you where you oh God are our mediator you Jesus Christ are our mediator and there is nothing that we can ever do that you never forgive us for so help us Lord to walk away from those lifestyles that do not please you even on becoming Christians help us to walk away and say no more enough is enough it ends now Lord help some people to walk away from those extramarital affairs that they believe is hidden Help some people to walk away, Lord, from the struggle with pornography. The tapes, the videos, the magazines. 
the porn sites that they're logging into thinking that no one knows give them the strength oh god to say enough is enough and walk away the secret lifestyles oh god married but sleeping around with both sexes lord help your people help your people lord to live right to walk right to walk according to your ways and to your precepts help us lord wherever the struggle is the struggle with alcohol taking a sip here and a sip there and justifying it and saying it's okay it's okay a little wine for the stomach's sake that is leading into trouble some are unable to think straight when they drink so lord help your people not to be bound anymore by these issues free your people lord deliver your people those who are struggling struggling with masturbation and these things oh god that they feel so guilty about when everything is all over struggle lord hiding hiding struggling at home but performing at church because nobody can know lord help your people help your people today lord many are walking around smiling but the struggle is real help your people lord send them trustworthy people that they can talk with that they can confess their faults people who will not judge or condemn mighty god but people who will embrace them in love and say you can make it because whom the son has set free is free indeed so send them oh god divine helpers people who will speak life into their dead situations thank you father you're turning things around even at the beginning of this new month lord help some people to turn over a new leaf to say out with the old in with the new and for christ i live and for christ i die make some people resolute mighty god in their stand for you they will not look to the left nor the right they will remain steadfast and they will go for it lord as people confess we know that you are faithful to forgive so lord help us help your people we have sinned in words thoughts and deeds in many ways oh god we have sinned help us help us father to recognize the error of our ways and to confess so that you can free us so lord i thank you today that there will be testimonies even from this that somebody will change their minds about something they're involved in secret deals secret deals my god help us lord help your children take in bribes because they say times are hard i cannot let anyone know some are providing for their families lord and the families don't even know where the provision is coming from my god help your people lord help your people run to our aid run to our assistance mighty god we are calling upon you today some are sick and tired of being sick and tired tired of the secrets tired of the lies tired of having to wear a mask because if people only knew it would ruin my reputation some are concerned about their reputation mighty god but this weight 
is weighing them down. They're wondering what to do. So Lord, I ask you right now to bring that level of deliverance to their lives. Where Lord, they will not be bound by these things anymore. They will not be bound anymore. Release an anointing right now for confession. Lord, let there be no confusion in their lives as a result of their confession. But have those around them to be understanding, O oh God. Let the response be surprising even to them. Where they expected people to be angry with them as a result of their confession. Lord, let them have and experience mercy. Let mercy be extended even in the worst of situations, Lord. Mercy. Lord, I thank you because you're doing it. You're doing it, Lord. You're releasing people from the bondage that is holding them back. You're releasing them. So, Father, I thank you today. I thank you for the change that's coming to some lives, even right now. They have made up their minds. They have made a decision that they're going to just get this out and just get it off their mind, off their chest, so that they can walk in total freedom. So I declare that today, Lord, that your people will walk in freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Nothing to hold them back like a weight. Let nothing anchor them, O oh God, to sin. But release them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free. Free. Freedom is yours in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're doing it. You're doing a new thing. Some will be given a new lease on life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise today, Father. I honor you today. I glorify your name because you are good. Bless us. There are many who will be healed even as a result of releasing what's holding them back. Thank you, Father, for doing it. Thank you. I bless your name and I ask you, oh God, to continue to keep your hands upon us so that we do not go astray anymore and we will walk circumspectly before you. We will walk humbly before you, Lord. We will put away pride, the pride that's setting some back. We'll put it away. So help us now, Lord. We're willing and we're ready to let go of the secrets. So Lord, honor us today. Honor us, Lord. Those who are honest enough to say, Lord, I need your help. Do it for us, Lord. Do it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Friends, please. Pray and ask the Lord to help you. Each of us, all of us need the help of God. All of us. If we... If we don't have the Lord in our walk every day, we're going to we're going to make mistakes. We're going to slip, we're going to fall. All right? So trust God, trust God. Trust God to change your situation. Don't be ashamed. All right? Some of the things that you're facing, it's not even your fault. It's not like you're looking someone to blame, but the Lord will help you. The Lord will help you just confess to him and say, Lord, you see this here. You see what's going on here. And the Lord will help you. I'm telling you, some of you, you're going to be so happy after this. Because it's like, I didn't know. 
I could have or should have done that a long time ago. Get it out there. And I am committing to pray for you. All right? So you don't have to worry about if anybody cares. People out there who care for you. And they will pray for you. All right? I'm one of them. I will pray for you because I know, I know sometimes the struggle is real. But God is able. God is able to release us from the things that hold us back. Okay, my friends. And remember, you are exactly who God says you are. Even in light of what was shared this morning, remember that. You are exactly who God... You see, the devil is trying to put a new label on some people. Right? putting new labels because he's trying to get some to think that they will never get over what's bothering them and he's holding it again no confess it release it and say lord i give it all to you and trust god with the outcome okay trust god with the outcome have you ever had somebody um do something to you or even vice versa you did something to somebody and you feel bad and you want to go and apologize and you go and apologize but you're expecting you know fire to fall and their response is surprising you expected fireworks and they were very calm and they said I forgive you and mean it I mean they don't say I forgive you and then they go and plot revenge and you know, say uh-huh that's what you do me mm-hmm really <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just give it over to God and let him handle the details, okay? If you have done something, go and say, look, I'm sorry, I did this. And if persons have done to you, the Lord will allow them to come. And when they do, forgive and release. All right? Forgive and release. Because my life right now, I am testifying, is blessed. Because I've made up my mind that nothing keeping me from seeing the face of God. Alright? So don't let anything hold you back. Your life will be blessed. Let folks say what they want. <laughs> God knows your heart. God knows your heart. Never become intimidated or afraid because Tom is saying this and Jill is saying that and Harry is saying that. No, 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 no. You know where you stand in your heart, right? With God. He sees your heart. No, if you're wicked, you have to confess and say, Lord, I'm wicked. Help me. You know, let's be real. But if you know, Lord, I have turned everything about my life over to you. And you're walking by the Spirit. Never allow what the devil says to override what God has said about your life. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? People will always have their opinion. Some will always think that you're, you know, the, the devil. But God knows the truth about your life. Just remember that. Regardless of what they're saying or what they're thinking, just Leave some things to God and watch him fix it. Sometimes he fixes it so well, it leaves you baffled. I can testify about that. All right? So just be encouraged. There is no condemnation. Right? There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. All right, so don't let anybody or any demon or any devil condemn you when Christ has set you free. All you do, go and sin no more. Jesus told many people that after he had delivered them. He didn't say, stick around in your sin, go back to it, I'm here waiting to forgive you again. He always said, go and sin no more. All right, so friends, may the Lord bless you today. I love you all. Yes, I do. You know, I love you with the love of Christ. I love you. 
because it is just the love of God that has been shed abroad in my heart that allows me to do that. All right? So may the Lord bless you and prosper you. Watch. Watch what confession does. I, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go, but watch and see how your life will change. Watch and see what's going to happen to your life as a result of just confessing and releasing stuff to God. Okay? So may the Lord bless you. And we will talk again another time. Now, I'll just give you a little heads up before I go. Uh, the next week, you know, I may not be able to do the lives as, as, as I normally do this week. It's, it's a set of holidays here and, you know, we're taking a little break. All right. So you will may not. I mean, I'm traveling, but I may try to do something from where I'm headed. Actually, I'm heading out to Cuba, you know, to God be the glory. He may he's making all of that possible. But um, I will try to see, you know, if I can maintain contact and just encourage you all at every opportunity I get but I'm saying it may not be at 6 o'clock or a little after 6 in the mornings that's next week today is the 1st of August and just give God thanks and just make some changes starting today okay until we meet again in this fashion God bless you take care